Devarim, Deuteronomy 7. When Yahuwah, Elohechem, shall bring you into the land whither ye go to possess it, and has cast out many nations before you, the Chittim, and the Gergashim, and the Amorim, and the Kenaanim, and the Perazim, and the Chivim, and the Yuvasim, seven nations greater and mightier than you. And when Yahuwah Eloheka shall deliver them before you, you shall smite them and utterly destroy them. You shall cut no covenant with them, nor show mercy to them, rather unto them. Neither shall you make marriages with them. Your daughter you shall not give unto his son, nor his daughter shall you take unto your son. For they will turn away at your son from following me, that they may serve other Elohim. So will the anger of Yahuwah be kindled against you and destroy you suddenly. But thus shall ye deal with them. Ye shall destroy their altars, and break down their images, and cut down their Asherah poles, and burn their graven images with fire. For you are a holy people unto Yahuwah Eloheka. Yahuwah, rather Yahuwah Eloheka, has chosen you to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Yahuwah did not set his love upon you nor choose you because ye were more in number than any people for ye were the fewest of all people. But because Yahuwah loved you and because he would guard at the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, has Yahuwah brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim. Now, therefore, that Yahuwah Eloheka, rather know, therefore, that Yahuwah, Eloheka, He is Elohim. Rather, He is Elohim. The faithful El, which guards His covenant and mercy with them that love Him and guard His commandments to a thousand generations. and repays them that hate him to their face to destroy them. He will not be slack to him that hates him. He will repay him to his face. You shall therefore guard at the commandments and at the statutes and at the judgments which I command you this day to do them. Wherefore, it shall come to pass, if ye hearken at to these judgments, and guard them, and do them, that Yahuwah Eloheka shall guard unto you at the covenant, and at the mercy which he swore unto your fathers, and he will love you, and bless you, and multiply you, he will also bless the fruit of your womb and the fruit of your land, your grain and your wine and your oil, the increase of your kine and the flocks of your sheep in the land which he swore unto your fathers to give you. You shall be blessed 
above all people. There shall not be male or female barren among you or among your cattle. And Yahuwah will take away from you all sickness and will put none of the evil diseases of Mitzrayim, which you know, upon you, but will lay them upon all them that hate you. And you shall consume at all the people which Yahuwah Eloheka shall deliver you. Your eye shall have no pity upon them, neither shall you serve at their Elohim, for that will be a snare unto you. If you shall say in your heart, These nations are more than I, how can I dispossess them? You shall not be afraid of them, but shall well remember at what Yahuwah Eloheka did unto Pharaoh and unto all Mitzrayim the great temptations which your eyes saw and the signs and the wonders and the mighty hand and the stretched out arm whereby Yahuwah Eloheka brought you out. So shall Yahuwah Eloheka do unto all the people of whom you are afraid. Moreover, Yahuwah Eloheka will send at the hornet among them until they that are left and hide themselves from you be destroyed. You shall not be frightened at them, for Yahuwah Eloheka is among you, a mighty El and terrible. And Yahuwah Eloheka will put out at those nations before you by little and little. You may not consume them at once, lest the beasts of the field increase upon you. But Yahuwah Eloheka shall deliver them unto you and shall destroy them with a mighty destruction until they be destroyed. And he shall deliver their kings into your hand. And you shall destroy at their name from under heaven. There shall no man be able to stand before you until you have destroyed them. The graven images of their Elohim shall ye burn with fire. You shall not desire the silver or gold that is on them, nor take it unto you, lest you be snared therein. For it is an abomination to Yahuwah Eloheka. Neither shall you bring an abomination into your house, lest you be a cursed thing like it, but you shall utterly detest it, and you shall utterly abhor it, for it is a cursed thing. <laughs>